Hi, everybody. Today, let us explore what it takes to become a Buddha. The various types of Buddhas. Understand when a Buddha appears. The significance of a Buddha's presence. Buddhist cosmology, and much more. All centered around the profound topic of Buddha. To make it easier to follow, we'll break down these complex concepts into smaller, digestible parts. Let's embark on this journey of understanding together. Part 1. Understanding Buddha In a world of dreamlike assistance, one man awoke. His name is Siddhartha and he became a Buddha when he attained Nirvana. In achieving Nirvana, he transcended the cycle of suffering, breaking free from the chains of ignorance, cravings and aversions. Like us, he was once trapped in a dreamlike assistance, plagued by mental stress and dissatisfaction. But he'd awoke, and so can we. What is a dreamlike assistance? Imagine our dreamlike assistance as a sophisticated virtual reality game. We're players, experiencing fear, happiness, sadness, and various sufferings, unaware that everything is just an illusion. This game entraps us, and we are stuck in its never-ending cycle. But the Buddha, the awakened one, realized the truth. He broke free from the virtual reality, the illusion and ignorance, and saw the ultimate reality. He unplugged himself from the game and ended the cycle of suffering. Therefore, a Buddha means an awakened one. But there is more to it. Let's continue in part two. Part two, types of awakened ones. The awakening from delusions and ignorance is known as Nirvana in Buddhism. There are three main types of awakened ones, each with distinct paths toward Nirvana. Our hearts achieve nirvana by diligently following the teachings of Buddha, such as Buddha Shakyamuni. Like the disciples during the Buddha's time, many our hearts helped others to understand the Buddha's teachings, thus helping others to awaken too. Praktika Buddhas, the second type, attain nirvana independently. However, they do not teach others how to achieve nirvana because the conditions for teaching are absent. Therefore, they are also known as silent Buddhas. Samyatsam Buddha in Sanskrit or Samasam Buddha in Pali attain Nirvana independently by rediscovering the method to achieve Nirvana. Subsequently, they also teach others how to attain Nirvana. These teachings are called Buddha Dharma in Buddhism. All the authentic Buddhist literature we have today came from Buddha Dharma taught by Buddha Shakyamuni. Until here, we learned that a Buddha means an awakened one. A Buddha attains Nirvana independently, and if a Buddha teaches others, then he is known as a Samyatsam Buddha. How does one become a Samyatsam Buddha? Now, before we go into that, let us understand the uniqueness of a Samyatsam Buddha. Someone like Buddha Shakyamuni. Part 3. Buddhist Cosmology In the Agana Sutta, the Buddha teaches that the universe operates in a continuous cycle of creation and destruction, expanding and contracting over an immense period of time. This cycle consists of four phases. Creation The universe and its inhabitants come into existence. Abiding. Life flourishes and continues in its various forms. Destruction. Everything dissolves into non-existence. Emptiness. A state of latent nothingness before creation begins again. The immense period for a complete cycle is known as a Mahakalpa in Buddhism. Mahakalpa is further divided into smaller kalpas. Therefore, some Buddhist traditions believe that a kalpa, or an eon, can be anywhere between 16 million years to an astonishing trillions of years. 
The Buddha used a profound analogy to describe the immense duration of a kalpa or an eon. Imagine wiping Mount Everest with a silk cloth once every hundred years. The time it takes to wipe away the entire Mount Everest is equivalent to a single kalpa or an eon. Within the abiding kalpa, human civilizations rise and fall due to natural calamities like floods, pandemics, famines, and wars. These events lead to mass obliteration of knowledge, causing the profound teachings of the Buddha to be forgotten. A Samyat Sam Buddha can only emerge when the teachings of the Buddha are absent and need rediscovery. Therefore, the appearance of a Samyat Sam Buddha signifies a pivotal moment in history where the light of wisdom is reintroduced to mankind. More importantly, the appearance of a Buddha within a new universe is not guaranteed. If a Buddha doesn't appear in that Kalpa, it is a dark Kalpa or dark Eon. If a Buddha appears, then it is a light Kalpa or light Eon. Sometimes only one Buddha appears in a Maha Kalpa. Sometimes more Buddhas will appear. The cycle of creation and destruction is ongoing, but its implications are profound for us. If we fail to grasp the teachings of the Buddha now, we may miss an extremely rare opportunity, and that opportunity might not present itself again for trillions of years. Let us zoom into our present Kalpa. Part 4 The Fortunate Aeon And the Thousand Buddhas we currently live in what is known as a light kalpa, or light eon, specifically termed the fortunate eon. At its inception, King Arinami, a powerful universal monarch, ruled. It was during his reign that the historical Buddha of that era, Buddha Mahaverochana, imparted profound teachings. King Arinami had a thousand and two sons, whom he offered as disciples to Buddha Mahaverochana. The Buddha foresaw that all these princes would one day achieve full enlightenment, becoming Buddhas themselves. According to Buddha Mahaverochana's prophecy, the first among these princes to attain Buddhahood was Buddha Krokuchandra, followed by Buddha Kanakamuni, Buddha Kashapa, and our current Buddha Shakyamuni. Future Buddhas include Maitreya and many others, each contributing uniquely to the spiritual evolution of humanity. Let us be inspired by their example and aspire toward the awakening, following in their footsteps. Part 5. How does a Buddha come to be? Over countless kalpas spanning billions of years, there emerges rare individuals who aspire to become Samyatsam Buddhas. This journey begins with a deep aspiration to achieve Nirvana within a world that is clouded by ignorance. These individuals are known as Bodhisattvas, beings who are dedicated to becoming the beacon of wisdom in an age of darkness. They aspire to become a Samyatsam Buddha. Their path is marked by immeasurable lifetimes of unwavering dedication and effort, focusing on cultivating virtues like generosity, ethical conduct, patience, diligence, meditation, and wisdom. Through their profound wisdom and immeasurable merits, Bodhisattvas gain insight into the ultimate reality the emptiness of inherent existence. This wisdom allows them to dispel deep-seated misconceptions and illusions that bind beings to sufferings. Bodhisattvas refine their minds through virtuous practices, such as the story of Buddha Shakyamuni sacrificing himself to feed a starving hermit when he was a rabbit, or offering himself fearlessly to a starving tigress when he was a man. These acts accumulate immeasurable merit, paving the way toward Buddhahood. 
Additionally, they helped countless beings along the way. Through the accumulation of virtuous deeds and immeasurable merit, a bodhisattva eventually attained nirvana in a conducive civilization so that he can transmit the wisdom of nirvana to people blinded by the darkness of ignorance. First, fulfilling their initial aspiration to become a Samyatsambuddha. Due to their immeasurable merits, derived from countless lifetimes of virtues, the Bodhisattva is born into royalty or esteemed families, often referred to as Brahmins in ancient India. They possess a pleasing, healthy body adorned with noble features and are capable of difficult feats. Endowed with supernormal powers that are conditioned by their exceptional karma, a Samyasam Buddha becomes capable of teaching and guiding others toward the path of Nirvana, the ultimate state of peace and freedom from suffering. Part 6. Did the Buddha have a teacher? You mentioned that a Buddha is like someone who has awakened from their dream entirely on their own. What does on their own mean in this context? Does it imply that a Buddha doesn't need a formal teacher or study the Dharma, the teachings of Buddha? All Buddhas had teachers when they were still bodhisattvas and aspiring to become a Buddha. They diligently worked toward their goal over many lifetimes and thus benefiting countless beings. However, in that lifetime when a Bodhisattva becomes a Samyatsam Buddha, there will be no other Buddha and the teachings of Buddha are not available too. The Bodhisattva will have to rediscover Nirvana on their own, thus bringing the light of wisdom. Into an age shrouded by the darkness of ignorance, let's use Buddha Shakyamuni as an example to explain this. In his former lifetimes, he was inspired by an earlier Buddha, also named Shakyamuni. He awakened to the aspiration for enlightenment and began accumulating merit and wisdom. Over immense periods known as Great Kalpa, he paid homage to numerous enlightened beings, studying under their total age. 76,000 in the first eon, 77,000 in the second, and 78,000 in the third. As a young Brahmin in Nagaraha, he received a profound prediction from Buddha Dipankara, affirming his future enlightenment. It took Buddha Shakyamuni three immeasurable eons of unwavering dedication, virtuous acts and meditative practice to progress from a bodhisattva to become a Samyatsam Buddha. In case you wonder, an immeasurable eon is said to extend for 10 to the power of 50 years, a duration beyond ordinary human comprehension. So, three immeasurable eons means three times that duration. First, Buddha Shakyamuni exemplifies the journey from a bodhisattva's aspiration through immeasurable eons to becoming a fully enlightened Buddha, guiding countless beings toward liberation and enlightenment. How does knowing all this information benefit me? Understanding Buddha's teachings offers numerous benefits across spiritual, cultural, and personal dimensions. It helps us avoid false claims of enlightenment and empowers us to recognize genuine spiritual qualities in others. Knowing the true meaning of Buddha also allows us to distinguish authentic guides from imposters. Learning about Buddha clarifies the spiritual path and the qualities necessary for personal growth and self-improvement. Buddha serves as a role model, inspiring us to strive for wisdom, self-awareness, and personal excellence. This leads to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Appreciating Buddha's significance and learning about his life deepens our respect for Buddhist culture and traditions. It fosters empathy and cultural sensitivity, enhancing our understanding of Buddhist beliefs, 
values, and practices. By grasping the true meaning of Buddha, we can evaluate teachings and practices effectively, aligning them with our personal values and spiritual goals. Becoming a Buddha isn't merely about acquiring wisdom. It's about awakening to our fullest potential, transcending suffering, finding ultimate peace, benefiting countless other beings, and illuminating their minds with Buddha Dharma through our journey. We are extremely fortunate to be living in a light eon now. Therefore, let's cherish the opportunity before Buddha Dharma is lost. Let's see how much we remember. What does the word Buddha mean? A. Buddha is the name of a god in ancient India. B. Buddha means an awakened being. C. Buddha means a wise sage. The answer is B. Buddha means an awakened being. What is a kalpa or an eon? A. An extremely lengthy period of time. B. 1000 years. C. A mystical age when magic is alive. The answer is A. A kalpa or an aeon refers to an extremely lengthy period of time in Buddhism. It typically refers to the age of the universe, a galaxy, or a world system. What is a bodhisattva? A. A Buddhist prince. B. Someone who aspired and strived toward Buddhahood. C. A female Buddhist goddess. The answer is B. A bodhisattva is someone who aspires and strives toward Buddhahood. What is an arhat? A. Someone who aspires to become a Samyatsam Buddha. B. A disciple of Buddha Shakyamuni. C. Someone who attained Nirvana directly from the teaching of a Buddha. The answer is C. An arhat is someone who attained nirvana directly from the teaching of a Buddha. Can a Buddha appear in our society today? A. Yes, the spirit of Buddha can speak through a holy man. B. No, Buddha only appears every thousand years. C. No, Buddha only appears after Buddha Dharma has been forgotten by humanity. The answer is C. A Buddha will not physically appear in our society today. This is because after the Parinirvana of Buddha Shakyamuni, the next Samyaksam Buddha will only appear when Buddha Dharma is forgotten by mankind. Also, Buddha never taught us to believe in spirits. Possession by spirits is not a Buddhist practice because Buddha taught mindfulness. Therefore, surrendering our mindfulness to a spirit is not Buddhism. Did you ace all the questions? We hope you enjoyed what we shared today and can't wait to see you again soon. Until next time, stay inspired and keep shining.